Hello, eighth grade U.S. history students. Uh, welcome to your uh, asynchronous week three content exploration. Uh, we have a cause and effect standard. Um, so we're looking at the causes of the Civil War. And in particular, we're looking at uh, how the, the social, political, and economic aspects of slavery caused the Civil War. You're going to be doing that today by exploring videos and articles, uh, adding to your week three notes, and then posting to a Padlet exit ticket. All of that is on here on this uh, content exploration document, which is on Google Classroom. So if you open it up, uh, you've got a copy of this. Um, I've broken things up into political, social, and economic. And, and if you're um, uh, forgetting the difference between those three uh, you know, kind of big ideas, uh, you can read down here. There's a little bit more of a definition. You can also check out the flashcards here. Um, and uh, here's, yeah, here's political. Political is relating to government laws, elections in a country. Economic is relating to um, uh, money. So making, buying, selling goods. So, you know, anything, anything to do with money or work. Um, and then social is anything to do with culture, religion, and traditions. Okay, so let's go back to the notes. Um, as you explore these New Zella articles and these New Zella videos about the causes of the Civil War, you're going to take notes down here answering this question. So in what ways did slavery influence politics, elections, and laws and push the U.S. towards Civil War? Uh, you'll probably find information about that in this article and in this uh, New Zella video. Um, on the social side, in what ways did uh, slavery connect with people's culture, religion, values, or identity and push the U.S. towards civil war? And so while you're reading these, you can grab quotes um, or you can paraphrase, uh, but you want to um, fill in a couple of these bullet points with uh, information from the, from the articles up above. Uh, and then for economic, in what ways did the uh, economics of the U.S. at the time, so industrial cities in the north and plantations with slave labor in the south, push the U.S. towards civil war? And again, if you're finding, um, you know, direct quotes from this video or this article, that's fine. Um, or if you're paraphrasing in your own words, that's fine, too. But you want to have some, um, some quotes or details uh, in each of these categories, uh, and that'll be a really big step forward in, prep, in preparing for the cause and effect um, assessment on, on Thursday. Um, last but not least, let me open up one of these New Zella articles and just show you a couple of the, um, the ways in which um, New Zella can be used, um, because it is pretty fancy. Um, so one of the ways in which New Zella can use, let me view it as a student, um, is you can change the reading level to make it more complex or less complex. I've set it at um, either a seventh or eighth grade level for each of these. A um, couple other things you can do. You can click on some words to see a definition. You can highlight and annotate to come back. Um, you can also have the art. So you can have it read out loud to you. And last but not least, you can have it um, translated into Spanish. Where does that happen? Do, 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 do. Text size, save, share. Huh, this one doesn't seem like it wants to translate into Spanish. Um, there should be an option to say English or Spanish. Maybe this one isn't translated. OK, well, um, good luck with these i know there's a lot of different articles to read um hopefully it's not they're not too long and uh, and that you're able to to identify the different causes of the civil war um, when you do that make sure to post to the padlet here um, if you open up this padlet um, you'll see uh, the same three categories political social economic if you find a really good quote or if you find a detail that's really helpful for you, share it with everybody else. Um, that would be super helpful. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care.